Good afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. It's my favorite day of the week in the loft. It's our cook-along day, but we do have some incredible females in the loft, and they are body goals. Mm -hmm. Some serious body goals. And you're going to teach me how to get those body goals. Yeah, <laughs> in the second part of it, I'm making a salad. Okay, good. Okay? For yeah. The first part. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> the first part, we need a Greek-inspired moussaka. <laughs> I'm saying Greek-inspired because, you know, we put a twist on everything. Everything, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be delicious, but again, Again, like you said, salad will have to be here today. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So today is International Day of Happiness, and that might be because tomorrow is a public holiday. So while you're watching, head over to our social media platforms and tell us in five words what makes you happiest. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. You know what makes me happy? The Afternoon Express cook along. And today we're taking a culinary trip to the food capitals of the Mediterranean, Greece. And uh, as Clem has explained, we're making a moussaka with a Greek twist. Yeah. Right? Okay. So um, if you want today's recipe and shopping list sent to your device, simply SMS the keyword EAT, that's E-A-T, to 33650. SMSs are one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And as always, we're streaming live right now on YouTube so you can keep your device handy in the kitchen and follow along. Uh, I also recently found out that um, our audience can actually hear us talk during the ad breaks and we what? speak a lot of nonsense. Since during the ad breaks. <laughs> At any point during the show, do call us live on 021 430 9881. And if you get stuck along the way, or if you just have some questions for our guests, or you just want to give us some tips, do call us. By now, you should know that Presenter Search on 3 is back, and auditions kick off this coming weekend in PE. Plus, you may already know that the host of the new season is none other than Pabi Muloy. Guess what? She's here today, and we'll be chatting to her about the exciting news, so stay tuned for that. And if you're following Tropical Island of Treasure Maldives, you'll know that last night we were all left stunned and in shock um, at the events that turned out because Team Coral, a clear front runner, was eliminated. The team comprised of former Miss South Africa and Pasella presenter Melinda Bam and pro swimmer Kelly Gunnell. It was an epic battle to the end, but Team Yellow and White narrowly beat Team Coral in what was definitely one of the most dramatic elimination challenges. They may have lost their chance at the treasure, but remember that you can still win big if you purchase a Tropica pack and enter. Get a taste of the smooth island life and win big with Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and you could win daily airtime prizes, Daniel Klein watches, American Tourista luggage for your next adventure, vouchers from loot.co.za to shop the hot daily deals online and the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. For competition T's and C's, visit tropica.co.za and don't forget to watch Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives every Monday at 7.30pm on SABC3. Oh my goodness, ladies, welcome. Thanks. Team Coral. <laughs> I know. Wow. Team Coral represents still. <laughs> to death. <laughs> to the death. A fight till the end. And joining us for today's Afternoon Express Cook Along to chat about their grueling elimination moment along with the rest of their tropic experience, please welcome Team Coral, Melinda and Kelly. Hi. Lovely Yay. to have you with us. <laughs> okay, guys. guys, like your, your legs are giving me heart palpitations, both of you. <laughs> I've just been sitting here going, how much time do I have to spend in the gym to actually... Yeah, okay. So let's talk about last night's battle. <sighs> it was actually, a fight till the end. It really was. We and we were all shocked. We had a little shocked. bit of a, a viewing party at, at my house just to, <laughs> just to like go Experience through the together. motions again. I mean, it, was, it must have been unbelievable. It really was. I think it both took us by surprise because we really felt like we were at a, a fantastic role. We had yeah. amazing teamwork and we really worked so hard and... We had dominated so many other front challenges. Runners, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And then we were gutted. What do you think happened? <sighs> Girls, take this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, as everyone knows, the scores were leveled yeah. as we moved to the new island. So I think that wasn't an advantage to us. No. I think yeah. to some teams that was a great opportunity to have a clean slate, but right. I mean that made us kind of put an X on our back without any defense in return. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it is the way the game is. It is so unpredictable and I often think that, you know what, you can really give it your all, but what you go out of the show with 
regardless of whether it's the million rand or if it's just having your character and integrity shine through in yeah. the way that you compete and the way that we have camaraderie, <laughs> that's the thing that's most important to us. Yeah. yeah. And what went through your mind when, when Katlejo actually announced that you disbelief. were going <laughs> Complete disbelief. Yeah. It was a bit of a shock. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a moment that you kind of feel like, what? what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, happened? this is not happening. Really? Yeah. yeah. But at the there same... There it is. Here it is. It's yeah, but you know what? I remember having a face. similar moment in my life, like taking that deep breath and just thinking to myself, okay, this did not happen. Okay, you yeah. didn't win. Now going on. Yeah. Like, what are, you, what are you learning from this? How can you build from this? Because yeah. I had a very similar experience at Miss Universe, like realizing that, oh, shucks, I'm not top five. I'm not like being for the crown anymore. Uh, but going through that whole process with someone by your side and being able to encourage one another yeah. and say, listen, we really, we really made the badass team ever. Yeah, you guys were absolutely we really incredible. did. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Now, I know about, I mean, when, in a competition like this, there's two battles happening. There's yeah. the one everyone can see and the challenges and everything. And then there's a mental battle mm. and and there's some personal victories that you're looking forward to or some some barriers that you want to breakthrough during a competition like this one. What were some of those for you? Well, I think for me, it was all about stepping out of my comfort zone. So mm. this was something completely different for me. And in the beginning, I was very apprehensive. I think out of all of the contestants, I felt it the most. And I was emotional and I wasn't sure. And then once I got teamed up with Melinda, I was kind of put at ease. And mm. Melinda is the kind of person that as strong as she is, she lifts other people up. Yeah. And she has this aura about her that you just lift everyone up. And I think that helped me so much. And yeah. that's why we worked so well together was we had this bond that, I don't know, yeah. we just trusted it's, each yeah. other. And yeah. for I mean, me, we, that's we what I We have the selection shot of you um, actually <laughs> picking yeah. her because everyone wanted to be on your team. Because you know what, I think- Do you blame us? <laughs> I don't blame you. I think the, the whole thing for me was is finding a teammate that I would feel comfortable in taking the lead in my strengths, but also someone who that who you feel comfortable in showing your weaknesses. Because mm. I think often in life, women are too proud to show our weaknesses and we want to seem to be invincible. Yeah. But feeling confident enough to say that I'm willing to lean back in my weaknesses and have you take the lead is a dynamic that I think is rare for people to find. And that to me was the greatest thing about this whole experience is the fact that yes, we broke stereotypes. No one expected the girls in the pink to come out guns blazing. <laughs> yeah. But to be able to say that, you know what, there's a bigger message behind two girls winning together, showing that yes, we can work hard. Yes, we can push when others want to pray for our downfall, which is some of the things that we've heard. But also being able to say that when People think we're going to step back, we'll take the lead, we'll encourage other teams when they struggle. It's not just about achieving your own victory in life, it's about, it's about taking people with you, taking yeah. people with you along Definitely. the way. And that's really something that we can proudly say we did, is yeah. that we might have been the two girls who were fierce competitors, but we were everyone else's greatest cheerleaders. That's awesome. Because that's just, that's just who we are. <laughs> like, Kelly has got like butterflies on her hair and I poop rainbows and somewhere in between <laughs> the whole mix we're like, we're like all about women empowerment but we want Absolutely. people to succeed. That's that's really what our hearts and our core is about. So that's Team incredible. Crow was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the, the, with, the, with the whole uh, movement towards women becoming who they want to be on yeah. their own terms, there's also the, the anti that says women can't get along, women can't can't band together and can't yeah. mm. can't fight together that they always have to be opposed to each other and I think I think we've seen some really incredible relationships on Tropica and we've seen some women like kick butt on that <laughs> yes, show. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, which was some of your your hardest challenge looking I back? I think the hardest challenge besides the one that we got eliminated on was the one where we couldn't control the dynamic, having other teams come into play as well, especially on the like the foosball challenge and um, the challenge where people can remove your bottles from the table. Because when Kelly and I were teamed up, we knew each other's strengths, we knew each other's weaknesses, we had a great strategy, we had a fantastic game plan. Yeah, we worked together. We worked together, but as soon as other people had like this new kind of dynamic coming into play, yeah. it was just. Too many variables. Were it were, there in. were too yeah. many variables yeah. to control, but also 
I think it also came down to a rule of average because ultimately you're going to pull some teams up and other teams are going to pull you down and somewhere in the in the, in the along the lines you need to like work out a dynamic that is still going to see everyone succeed around absolutely. you absolutely so that was quite tough yeah yeah, yeah. well it's, i just love seeing competitive women i just yeah. yes. i just love it but you know what <laughs> it's Bonnie, just the, thrilling. the interesting thing to me is that so many people get stereotyped as as being like a bitchy competitor when yeah. they see the competitiveness in someone we're not seeing as seen as being driven and powerful people often just want to label it as the lazy excuse of women like stepping on one another yeah instead of showing that we're strong and powerful but uh, we actually have heart and it's we've absolutely. got dedication and absolutely that's really what yeah yeah i love this girl <laughs> yeah. this to me is like the best thing that happened in our whole tropical oh, experience it's just incredible. having this girl by my side oh my and being gosh, able to guys. have yeah just a, yeah. a teammate at life that makes you realize yeah. bigger things we're going to chat more a little bit about that in yeah. the kitchen when we're cooking along so if you Ooh. missed last night's jaw dropping episode be sure to watch it on the Tropica YouTube page. Also, don't forget that you stand a chance of winning when you buy Tropica. Follow the entry details on the bottle and you can stand a chance of winning loot.co.za vouchers to shop online, American Tourist Luggage, Daniel Klein Watches, Airtime, or the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. T's and C's apply uh, on tropica.co.za. And remember to tune in to Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives next week, Monday, on the 26th of March for yet another jam-packed elimination episode. This week on Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives, Team Bonds and Trust get tested with a slender twist. Oh my gosh. I actually want to cry. Challenges test contestants aim as well as their agility. Could you just get in already? Another team is going home. Absolutely brutal elimination challenge. It's a shock. Oh. Catch Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives Mondays at 7.30pm on SABC3. The stage is yours.